Hey yo, welcome back to the Wednesday of the Reboot. Today we're gonna look at AMM Acid Rain. We're gonna look at an Acid Rain action figure. 118th scale, three and three quarters, whatever you prefer. I just call them four inch also, so you can call them anything you want. Four inch scale, three and three quarter, 118 scale. I'm jumping into these, something I've been doing on the side, a little side project, something fun. And I want to kind of bring you guys along. I don't always stick to the same lines or the same scale, so very rarely do I jump out of uh, 112 scale. So now I'm building this 118th world over here. Like I said, after watching Empire Toy Works and my friend Josh Moyer from Gorilla Customs, after all of that inspiration, I decided to do my own because it's so cool that you can just, the parts are just so cool and interchangeable. I actually, with uh, Joy Toys, I am working on a custom of my friend, Mr. Moyer. So yeah, we're working on that right now. Something really cool, but it's fun. It's a fun line. The, the scale is fun because there's vehicles, there's so much stuff, and you can all you can fit all. They all they all take pictures real well. It's just been a lot of fun so far. So we're gonna jump into the AMM prospector. This was oh crap. This was the first. Uh, Female Acid Rain figure, like I said, haven't opened it yet. You can find these on Big Bad Toy Store. They're about 20 bucks right now. I know um, Big Boy Collectibles also has them, but I know that they're on sale right now on Big Bad Toy Store, and they're only like 20 bucks. And like, if you want an army build and you want like four or five of them, it would only cost you 100 bucks for five. So around about, I mean, tax and stuff included. All right, without further ado. Let's, we're going to jump into this. Let's check this out. I'm not going to do a custom on it. I'm not going to repaint it right now, but I'm sure at some point I'll start repainting these. I'm trying to get the world set. I'm trying to get some of the base buildings in, trying to get some of the stuff done. I keep looking over here because this is where it's going to be. And I'll, like I said, I'll start sharing that stuff with you guys. I did share in my last video the uh, X-Wing area that I'm working on, like their mechanic shop. I call it Wings and Dings, X-Wings and Dings, and it's the name of the company the little building I made so we're gonna jump into AMM AMM and I believe I forgot what that stood for AMM stands for Abyss Melifera Melifera I don't know what I'm talking about but yeah so there is a guy too that does um was it awesome toy yeah awesome action toys he's he's one of the only people I've seen talk about acid rain he's the only guy that's out there who actually takes a figure and looks at it and I think he's done this one before a long time ago I'm not sure what year this one came out? One of his latest ones he did, he did like the whole, he does like whole teams, so like Bucks team, Cell team, all that stuff. And if you guys know more about how I can get more information on Acid Rain, I've looked up as much stuff as I could look up, but if there's like something I'm missing, any information on it, let me know. But yeah, I, I'm in love with these, like how well they move. This is uh, the one I got the other day. They just move really well. Just really awesome looking figures. I also got Flame Trooper that I opened, so, and the Space Guy and stuff, so pretty much anything that was 20 bucks. I know I got a couple things coming in today or tomorrow, and then I'm also jumping into um, Vitruvian Hacks. Those are a lot of fun. Like All this stuff is interchangeable. Joy Toys, um, the Animal Kingdom ones, those are coming in, I believe, today or tomorrow, and those are coming in from Big Boy Customs. Big Boy Collectibles, I'm sorry, Big Boy Collectibles. So all of these stores are just great spots to pick up 118 scale stuff. So let's jump into this. Look at this detail. How good those look. Some amazing detail. Let's check out the figure. Just comes with the backpack. Just doing a close up right now. A M M. And I'm pretty sure like they collect the honey. Let's read. Let's read about it real quick. Actually, let's put on this. This just works. 
What it says, Acid Rain presents the first female character in the 118th Acid Rain series, AMM, a security unit employed by the multinational corporation called Beehive, is response for is responsible for protecting Beehive staff as it travels the globe in search of honey, a precious commodity in the new wrecked world. The AMM Prospector is a highly articulated and includes weapons, a backpack, and helmet. So yeah, so these this is like the security team for the, the people out there collecting honey in the new crazy wrecked world. So as you can see, the joints, look at those knee joints. Amazing, we got some rocker going on, some ankle rocker. The details are amazing, but it's really cool how well these move. Elbows go that far. Like I said, backpack comes off. I think the helmet even comes off. Yeah, helmet comes off. And like this scale is just fun because you can interchange so much stuff. Let's holster the guns. This has become the most challenging for me is holstering the guns without breaking anything. <laughs> Not so much on Acid Rain, but Joy Toy. Every time I touch one of those, it's like snap, pop, crack, super glue, super glue. Super glue. But yeah, Acid Rain, the line is just really stellar. Um, like so, there's no ab crunch, but there is a torso peg, the ball peg, I believe, inside of there. I believe. I know there is, because I pulled them apart before. So, just a ball peg on there. And the helmets look just... Look at the helmet without anything on it. Or the head without the helmet piece on it. So there's detail underneath detail. So this goes on and there's still detail underneath. It's crazy cool. So I'm excited. It'd be cool to throw a cool character. It'd be cool to throw a cool. It'd be fun and cool to put a cool, awesome <laughs> female character on this. So it should be a lot of fun. I don't know if I have any offhand. I could use one of the um, hacks heads. I have a few of those. So we could always use an Urso body, Urso head on there. You know, because everyone's got a whole bunch of these because we got them for like a dollar at some point. And yeah, we'll be doing like Star Wars also. Yeah, she's AMM's a little bigger than Jin. Not by much, but just a little bit. But I pretty much, when I'm doing 118 scale stuff, if it's not uh, ships and such, I probably won't be talking much about Star Wars because I believe there's, you know, there's more people that talk about three and three quarter Star Wars than there is anything else. And those guys are really good at what they do. So. I'll just probably be f focusing mainly on uh, Joy Toy, Acid Rain, like you see here, the Animal Kingdom dudes, and the hacks, Trivian hacks. So that's probably where my stuff will be and where I'll be doing customs and stuff like that. But yeah, I'm going to head outside, guys. I'm going to take some pictures. Let me show off. Uh... Boop, boop, doo. Yeah, let's show off Flame Trooper also. So we have this guy in Flame Trooper. Here's one of his guns. Right there. Tons of good detail going on. Alright, let's check him out. Like I guess I already opened him up, so. Yeah, and he's right here. And he looks really good too. Um, this is really nice. This isn't just cheap plastic. This is actually, it feels almost like a chain. Like a necklace, how, like this length, not the length, but the size and the way that it feels, the texture on it. So this guy's really cool. His helmet also pops off. He has some fun stuff going. You can put that helmet on any other head if you wanted to. This whole piece comes off. So yeah, Flame Trooper also $20 on Big Bad Toy Store. Check him out. Check him out. There he is. But I'm going to go take some pictures of these. Or actually of AMM. Get some pictures of her. Maybe we'll use some pyro. I don't know. It's pretty windy and crazy outside right now. I want to get some outside shots done. I don't really want to do the shots inside. I might have to supplement and do them inside. I'm not sure yet. Thanks again for watching, guys. I appreciate you all. If you're not into 118 scale, I think it's something you should definitely at least grab up one and check them out and see if you like them. As always, be kind to one another, and I'll see you guys again real soon.